This question is about food and feeding our kids, and I'm sure pretty much any parent out there can relate to this because it does seem like at times we need to set limits around food. And so should we be setting limits? And how do you do it without shaming? Let's unpack it. The short answer is yes, it's absolutely appropriate to set limits with kids because we need to give kids some structure within which they can thrive and listen to their bodies. Let's use an analogy. Let's pretend for a second that you are in charge of taking an entire kindergarten class out onto the playground for recess. And the playground that you're going to actually has no equipment and no fence. The kids are just free to run around wherever they want. And let's pretend that surrounding this area is a bunch of busy streets and the kids could just run off if you weren't looking and go out into the street or get off and get lost or get kidnapped or something that wouldn't feel very good for you or for the kids right now imagine that you have a playground that is fenced in there's playground equipment for them to play on within that structure of the fencing and having some equipment to work with the kids can then freely play and do what they want and do what feels good to them and you don't have to stress about it because you've given them the structure and the containment and the tools to use creating meal structure is the same way so we create the fence is the the meal schedule the timing of offering meals and snacks and then the play ground equipment is the food that you're offering, offering a wide variety of food, offering them options, but not catering to it to where you become a short order cook. But the boundary is within the options that are provided at this particular meal or snack. This is what they get to choose from and they can eat as much or as little of it as they want. That's where they get to listen to their own internal boundaries in their bodies. And the meal and snack schedule will provide some containment around the timing of eating so that they're not just grazing all day long because left to their own devices, kids would just graze all day long and they would snack all day long on goldfish and fruit snacks and the things that taste good to them because they don't yet have the cognitive ability to understand that we need to provide ourselves with some type of variety um, and certain food groups and nutrients in order to take care of ourselves. Now, of course, some of this will depend on the kid, their temperament, you, your situation, how old the child is. You know, things are going to vary depending on these different factors, and there's a lot of nuance to the discussion. But the idea of cultivating some structure and then letting kids operate within the structure is sort of the spirit of what we're looking for here. And then to do everything you can to avoid shame, because the shame about what they're eating or how much they're eating is just not helpful in our relationship with food. So for more info on this, go check out my podcast episode number 87, where I'm talking about how to have these conversations with our kids. What should we say? What shouldn't we say? And what are some things to think about that you might not have thought about before?